Hi everybody and welcome to Game Slobs. It has certainly been a while since I last saw you. For those of you who don't recognise my face, I don't blame you, my name is Coops. And today I'm going to be doing a wonderful jumping puzzle um, called the Mad King's Clock Tower, which is a temporary sort of jumping puzzle that can only be done during Halloween. So to get there you need to go to this joyous place, um, the Gatehub Plaza Waypoint or just the, the plaza in Lion's Arch and then there will be a door with a big clock on it and uh, that is where we start. Okay, so once you make it to the Mad King's clock tower door thing in my blodget and go in, um, you will be placed into a queue like that. So pretty picture. You'll be placed into a queue and then you'll be able to go in. They have changed it from the first year where you saw all your opponents in there. Now you're just those sort of orby whirly swirly things so it's not too bad. Um, it is an absolutely horrendous jumping puzzle which takes you all the way to the top. That clock tower thing, the clock actually explodes at the end and you jump through it and then you get a nice little chest at the end. Whether it holds anything good or not is a different matter. Now I'm going to be chopping this video in a second um, to my successful run but <laughs> I will be adding in, sorry, sorry Charles arse there. Um, I will be adding in the uncut version so you can watch me rage because I know you love it so very, very much because you're all evil. So I'm going to cut it around about now. Okay, I can do this. I know most people would have rage quit by now, but no, not me. Going a bit slow today, Coops. Come on, man. Pick up the pace. Eek, 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 eek. Okay, we're good. We're good, I think. Get in there anyway. So if you go too slow and you get to that jumpy downy bit, you've had it, chum. Have I had it, Chum? Not quite yet. Nearly. Nearly had it. They're after me. Okay, come on. No, we need to go into that one. Yeah, how about we jump around this way? That always works. That way works a bit better, doesn't it, really? Let's be honest. <laughs> He's made it. Let's not celebrate too soon. Come on, clock. Blow up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And go. Yes! Champion! Oh. And there is your chest. Oh. <laughs> that was horrendous. Okay, so there's a daily jumping mad thing in my blood yet. You get a nice Mad King's chest. I think I'm about to pass out. So I do apologise if I suddenly face plant the keyboard. Uh, so what we got? Spookly ghost tonic um, and a spookly skeleton tonic. I can say spooky correctly, I'm just, yeah. What's in the Mad King's chest? Five trick or treat bags and then skins that I've already unlocked. What are they? Toughness, vitality and condition damage. Well, they are a account bound on a choir, so you, you've got one choice. Use it or salvage it. So I'm going to salvage that. You, you may notice I've gathered quite a lot of shit in my inventory. Well, there you have it, ladies and gents. That is how you do it. There are a couple of tricky bits. Wow, looking kind of spooky there, Beck. Um, there are a couple of tricky bits. There's um, the bit at the start where you have to wait for the clock tower bit to explode. Um, and then there is the bit where you have to jump down. Um, there are a couple of chests along the way. I strongly recommend you do not open them unless you plan to do multiple runs. Um, and then there's the bit at the end 
and that's it. You just got to wait for the clock to explode. So don't try and preempt it. Just wait for the clock to smash open, okay? And then you'll get through perfectly fine. <sighs> that was stressful. Um, so be sure to check out both versions of this video. The one where I just did it first time because I am so pro. And the time that it took me about 15 attempts because I'm not so pro. Yeah, awkward. But thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will catch you next time in the next video, whatever that may be. Ta-ta!